Yeah, hello and welcome to Unity Tutorials. My name is Bosoni Kashkun. So today we'll be talking about the staff appraisal. So previously we talked about curriculum vitae. That means if you're on this video, you've watched a series of the videos that we watched. This is the sixth video in the series. So if you've finished your setup and you've done your personal details and the career details and you've uploaded your documents and checked the curriculum vitae where you have to do your referee addition, and once you're done with this, you're in the right video. But if, you, if you've not, you can go back to the previous videos in order for you to get clarity. So we now scroll down to the menu that says staff appraisal on the left part of the screen if you're on a computer. If not, if you're on your mobile phone, you could see the tab and click on it to see the menu. So when we click on staff appraisal, we have a drop down that says appraisal guidelines, appraisal form, appraisal status. So here we're going to start from the guideline. So when we click on this guideline, it will show us the information. Remember, at every point of this video, I'm mentioning that this fifth system was designed specifically to pass information at every stage. So you read through the information provided on the screen, you won't have any issue. So here we are said to read the appraisal guideline carefully. Click here to fill the appraisal form. As you can see here, this is where the information is being passed. So after filling the appraisal form, click here to check the status of the appraisal. Then click here to upload the requirements or the required documents. So now here is check the readiness. There are some documents requested for the appraisal to be successful or to start rather. So the first one is your original employment letter. The second one is signed assumption of duty form. The third one is the birth certificate or age declaration. The fourth one is the original acceptance of our appointment. The next one is the original medical certificate of fitness. These ones are mandatory. That means you must fill them in order for you to proceed. So now, if you look through, we already uploaded these documents in the previous document section, if you watched the video earlier. So now, Unless if you are requested to upload another of these uh, certificates or requirements, letters, you can choose in the document section to upload them, just like we did with the uh, transfer of service form. So now once you're done with this five, you can proceed. So when we click on this, see, click here to fill the appraisal form. Now this is the form we're going to fill. Remember, your name has already been captured and your staff number and NIO CRMS ID has already been captured automatically from what has been filled in from personnel affairs. So you scroll to, through to the editable files and change them. Date of first appointment, date of first ranking, that's a rank of uh, first appointment rather. So in this case, I'm going to choose a system analyst. So assumption of duty date, if it's incorrect, please put in the correct one. So, date of last promotion, I'm going to type in, for this demo sake, I'm going to type in something, just to fill in. Then, the date of upgrade, if applicable, this one is optional, that means I can let it go. So, uh, appointment confirmation date. I'll click on this, and say, 03-03-2021. So, date of bed if this date of bed is incorrect you can choose to amend it if need be i wasn't born in december maybe i was born in march then i was selected so once you're done with this are you on a study leave if yes click yes if no click no i'll click yes or click no so in this case i'll select no so remember choose the appraisal session we're talking about 2021 appraisal session i'll click on it to select so once I'm done and confirm that I filled all the parts of the form that I required, I'll now click on Submit Appraisal Form to submit. Your appraisal form has been submitted successfully, so which means I have successfully submitted. So click here to continue. I'll click on the button to proceed. Right here, it shows that my appraisal form has been queued. That means I'm waiting for review in order for me to be appraised. Okay? So if I click on this, I'll just see the details of the upload. Click back to go back to the status. So right now, if you look through the staff appraisal form, 
we are on the status. So, and it says in the guideline, if you see, that after filling, we can check, we can now, after filling the appraisal form, click here to check your status, which was where we were. So, if you click here, we now check our status and it's still queued. Remember, at every point that this appraisal goes, you will get a notification in your email, registered email to the platform on how the progress has been. So, we're going to wait while we are appraised in order for us to see what we've been scored. So remember, if you check back to details that have been provided as the guideline, it says you should check back regularly. Appraisal exercise has commenced and all. So you can check back regularly to see if you have been appraised. So click back to check. So once we start waiting, that means you have to check regularly. Remember, we've voted for some time, and I think the HOD has done for others, so let's review. The, we can go back here to click on staff appraisal and click on uh, appraisal status. As you can see, we have been appraised, so we now have to click on review. So when I click on review, I'll see this cause which has been allocated to my appraisal. I mean, when I look at this, I'll see the points. If I choose to accept this, and if I look through and it's something that's okay or not, so when I click back to the status, I'll click on accept or reject. Here, I'm expected to accept or reject the appraisal. So in this case, I think the score was pretty good. I can click on yes to accept or no. If you have any comments, you can add them here in order to show reason why you chose no. Or you can just click yes. And submit so in this case i'll click yes and click on submit acceptance so right now the acceptance has been submitted but this is an academic staff that means in this place the academic uh acceptance has already been pushed that means the appraisal has been pushed to uh appraisal promotion committee rather so um right now we are completed with this so here we have everything we need to know about the appraisal. So at every point that you feel that you're overwhelmed, go back to the video and review in order for you to get clarity. If you think the video is too fast, you can pause it, then continue when you need to. Need to. Then when you fill a form and submit, you can always come back to complete the other process. Thank you very much for sticking to the very end. God bless.